911, what's your emergency? Hi, yes, I need help. It's my husband. He came home really late tonight, and he's acting strange. We got into an argument, and now I'm scared. Okay, ma'am, I need you to stay calm. What exactly is he doing that's making you feel like this? I don't know how to explain it. He's just not himself. It's like he's moving in a weird way. And his eyes, they're not right. And he's saying things, horrible things. Okay, we I... We have a daughter. She just turned nine yesterday. I don't want anything to happen to her because of him. All right. Are you and your daughter safe right now? She's in her room sleeping. But I don't know what to do. I'm worried about her. And I'm worried about myself. Okay. We're sending officers to your location right away. Can you tell me if there are any weapons in the house? No, we don't have any weapons. Please hurry. I'm really scared. Help is on the way. Just stay on the line with me until they arrive. Can you lock yourself in a room and stay there until the officers get there? Yes, okay. I'll go lock myself in the bedroom. Please tell them to hurry. They're on their way. Just try to stay calm and stay safe. While we wait for the officers to arrive, can you tell me if your husband has a history of any mental health issues or substance abuse? No, he's never had any mental health issues or substance abuse problems before. This is completely out of character for him. All right, I understand. Has he been under any unusual stress or experiencing any significant life changes recently? Not that I'm aware of. Everything seemed fine until tonight. He just came home acting different. Okay. Thank you for providing that information. It helps us understand the situation better. Can you describe to me in more detail what exactly he's saying and doing? He's speaking in a really harsh tone, saying things that he would never say, especially not in front of our daughter. And his movements, they're jerky and erratic. It's like he's not fully in control of himself. I see. And has he been physically aggressive towards you or your daughter? No, not yet. But I'm afraid he might escalate. That's why I called for help. You did the right thing by calling. We're going to do everything we can to ensure you're... Hello? Is something wrong? Excuse me. Give me a minute. Oh, thank God. Thought something had just happened and they weren't going to answer my call. Are you still there? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. What? What do you mean? I cannot help you. Look, whoever is there, respectfully, I don't have time for this right now. I need to know how long it'll take them to arrive. I'm so sorry. Are you fucking kidding me? We'll meet again someday. What? Called 911. No one has come for three fucking hours. I'm in the attic right now. Lauren? I know you're there. I'm sorry. I I I didn't mean to. I I just I just had a bad day. I just want to talk, okay? 
Nothing else. Promise. Okay.
Do you like the place I chose? It's similar to the last time, but it's bigger, quieter, and abandoned. Perfect. Another rap battle. No, 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 little boyfriend. Things will change. Third time's the job. I got you all alone now. No more games. It's time to finish what I've started. And no one will hear you scream. Hey! I'm glad you like my property! <laughs> You've got guts, kid! Ah, uh, I... uh, okay. I... Since the deal was to let them go with the kid won, I guess I can go back to... But you have to win two more rounds before I let you go with your little demon gal. No, oh, come on! Alright, we secured the target without it noticing us, and it seems like it's, uh... I know this is gonna sound weird, but it's in a rap battle with a blue-haired midget. And ex-rap star Daddy Dearest's daughter is there too. We also found this humanoid creature with a lemon as its head. It looks a bit damaged. I don't think it will be a problem for us. Understood. Well guys, 
Go and get everything prepared. We'll get to work soon. We're gonna lose at least half the team. But it will all be worth it when this Felix the Cat knockoff is destroyed. The mission will fail. <laughs> Reality will begin to tear apart, and the whole world will go to hell. Michael, not now. And it's all because of two idiots who challenged the cartoon cat into a rap battle. Hey, calm down. Can't you see, Daniel? We've lost almost everything we knew about this monster ever since it killed Trevor and the entire Henderson family. And you still think we have a chance against it? That dream about that horse on the stairs is still affecting you, huh? Don't think about it too much. It's only a dream. Listen, when all of this is over, You'll return with your family and take a good rest. I'm a little worried about you. Looks like we've got an audience. Damn it. Cats noticed us. Get ready.
Just a bunch of cursed illustrations, they say. They can't hurt anyone. They aren't real. Now they're here. If only Mr. Trevor was still here, we could have prevented this Captain Mouse game from getting this far. Reality is tearing apart. His most powerful creation is going to kill us all, and we can't do anything about it.
that's all, folks. I guess. Don't you ever come back here again. Ah. Oh. Well? Now what? Wait, what happened to my speakers? Oh, BF. There's no one here and we're in complete darkness. Can you turn off that voice changer on your mic and talk normally, please? You're kind of obsessed with that high-pitched voice, dude. Fair. But what I wanted to say is... I think I saw them fall from the third floor. What?! Yeah, like a few minutes before and that Halloween furry started his last song. <laughs> Red. Huh? Hey, babe, look! How about we try to wrap with that guy over there?
Okay. I think I've lost him. For now. <sighs> Look at how far your creations have come, Trevor. I know you're not the one to blame here. But this has gotten way out of hand. And I swear to God, if I find that fucking rapper, I am going to- Hello! I think we got a little lost, so I'm glad to see someone else here. Uh you motherfucker! I wouldn't do that if I were you, kid. Bye. Be grateful I wouldn't beat up a kid. Otherwise, I would have done something worse to you. Now, what was that for? Don't act like you don't know anything, slut. The cartoon cat may not be trying to destroy the fucking world anymore. But the crippets that arrived during the severe reality warp won't be leaving anytime soon. Wait, what did you call me? <laughs> you are here. Are you here? Let's talk about this at home, I found you. Huh? Did you run away from home or something? Well, since he's here... Hey! Over here! What the fuck are you doing? I just want to talk to your daddy. That's not my dad! That's the son of a bitch that's been chasing me all day! <laughs> Screaming, the three of us are dead. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. But thank you. But for trying to kill my boyfriend and calling me a slut, there will be a condition. Eh? I'm screwed. I'll be watching from here. Good luck.
ready for the next row? Fuck off! You made me sing some corny ass song while I was trying to warn you to! I can't even tell if you're being Socratical or if you're generally too stupid to realize that there's a fucking 40 feet tall siren in front of you! You know, just in case you haven't seen it! I have no idea what you just said. Is that a yes or a no? I'm sorry. I'm a dumbass, okay? Look, I didn't think a rap would cause a fucking apocalypse. That sounds stupid. It's okay. I'm glad you're sorry at least. I was also being a bit harsh and got carried away. Without Mr. Trevor and the cartoon cat out of its prison, it was too late years ago anyway. What does that Mr. Trevor guy have to do with this? Good boy. I don't want to tell you something as complicated as the FNAF war, so I'll try to summarize it. I have never been told what relations he had with me. Back to the main point, Trevor's mental health began to deteriorate. With this in mind, the cat took its opportunity and escaped. As Trevor was getting worse, the cat took a hold of the situation and began to hunt our loved ones. Trevor couldn't take it anymore, so he let his creation end his suffering. He was its creator, as the case with the other monsters we've seen today. Only he would know how to stop the cat from its mischief. Uh, that's your boyfriend, right? Boyfriend! That bitch won't hold Siren Heads away! Your girlfriend is literally a demon, yet you end up working your own human to save your ass. This implies that I'm super cool. You are the one who offered to help! 
Okay, all jokes aside, you survived the impact, but you also almost drowned. She passed out thinking you were dead, so I had to take care of the job. It's bullshit! She's lying! Don't believe her! So what happens next now that these monsters roam the world, cryptid kid? I'm afraid to know. Also, don't call me that. My name is Luna. But for now, as long as the cartoon cat remains dormant, there is a possibility that we will eventually learn to live with them. Just like the people in Trevor's stories did. I talked to Trevor. The fuck are you talking about? He's been gone for ten years. His soul has not yet found peace. He needs to transfer ownership of his creations to someone. And I'm here for it.
Well, guess what? We have our problems too. But you don't see us shoving it down your throat. Hello? Hello? Are you still there? <laughs>